shower, Alex, our top bloke, big rescuer, uh, managed to get the sea snake off of the beach uh, and transport it twice and we're going to try and move it into the seawater here. Hey guys, look, Operation Sea Snake has been a pretty good success, although it has been a five-person operation. Uh, the snake was found about an hour from Native Ark, so uh, Alex is our, uh, one of our main wildlife rescuers, absolute top bloke, so he went out there at about 8 o'clock at night. Uh, he's a trained snake handler, and he's transported the snake down to me. Uh, in between transit, Karen and I have gone down to the beach to collect some seawater. These snakes will dehydrate very quickly without seawater, so it's absolutely crucial that they have that. Uh, and then Dr. Sue and Georgia have come down to Native Ark with me uh, to make sure we can, you know, safely, you know, maneuver this animal into a proper holding area. And then tomorrow morning we'll call Aqua. Uh, they specialise in marine life, um, and hopefully they'll be able to help us with the rehabilitation process. So absolutely ama amazing process. You know, five people involved, and just really goes to show that we have the most dedicated, amazing team of wildlife rescuers. Um, out there in Western Australia. So really proud of everyone at Native Art. Good job guys and hopefully with a bit of luck and a bit of care this sea snake will survive. Good stuff. Alright guys, we're here at Aqua and Jess is Aqua's Operations Manager um, and she's just going to quickly tell you about what's going to happen with the sea snake. Yeah, so the guys at Native Art just brought in an ornate sea snake that they found washed up down in Banana and they brought it in to us. We've got it in a quarantine tank out the back of Aqua where it's in a safe area with a nice um, secure lid on the top so it can't escape and we'll look after it for as long as it takes to get it nice and healthy before it gets released back up or Alright, thanks Jess, appreciate the support for your help with this one. You're welcome. Alright, mission successful. We've just delivered the sea snake to Aqua. So guys, this has been an amazing process for this snake. So it started off with an after hours call and we got one of our volunteers to initially go out and collect the snake. Uh, we've then brought it to Native Ark we've transferred it into a temporary holding enclosure. So that alone was five people. Uh, we've had to go and collect seawater from the ocean. Uh, today we've been in contact with wildlife officers from the DBCA uh, who have allowed us to coordinate the transfer to Aqua. Uh, we've just been up to Aqua and we've had you know, multiple staff there uh, talk to us about these snakes and you know, all the different things that are involved in the rehabilitation. Uh, and then eventually this animal will probably go to Perth Zoo for some vet attention. Uh, it'll go back to Aqua for ongoing rehabilitation and then wildlife officers from the DBCA will likely release it out in the ocean uh, somewhere far away. So, you know, all this effort goes into rehabilitating one animal and this animal's life is just as important as any other life and that's why we do it. So big thank you to everyone involved and as one big group, we're all helping wildlife live. Well done guys.